Hi, welcome to Lana Jevillos, the English channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this baby on a sea. If you are new in this channel, if you like this video, remember to subscribe and click on the bell to receive the notifications of my new videos. And remember that you can find the written pattern on my website. You can find the link on the description below and at the top of the video. And you can find also in my website uh, free lessons to learn how to crochet, how to knit and how to make amigurumis and hundreds of free patterns with video tutorials. Well, let's go now with the step-by-step -step and the materials that I use for a newborn size. To make the newborn size, I used 60 grams of this cotton thread from the brand Casasol. Here you can see the specifications of this cotton. I used 3.5 millimeters knitting needles. I used circular needles, but you can use straight needles. I also used scissors and a tapestry needle. Start from the front part, casting on 18 stitches. You have to make a slip knot. And cast on 18 stitches. You can use the way to cast on that you prefer. Cast on 18 stitches. Once you have the 18 stitches, you have to start working the stocking at the stitch. To make the stocking at the stitch, in this case, we start with a knit row. So knit all the stitches, work the knit stitch in all the 18 stitches. and then turn and work the purl stitch in all the stitches, one purl stitch in each stitch. This is how you have to make the stacking at stitch. Continue on the third row with a row of knit stitches, one knit stitch on each stitch. And the row number four work the purl stitch in all the stitches. One purl stitch in all the stitches. This is what you have to repeat the stacking of the stitch. You have to continue working the stacking of the stitch to have 13 rows. In my case it's like 5 centimeters. And now we have to start making the increases. To make the increases you have to start in a row of the wrong side, you have to take the edge stitch for one yarn over and continue with purl stitches to two stitches before the end. Once you are at the end, you have to yarn over and purl the two last stitches. Turn and 
on the row on the right side you have to work the knit stitch in all the stitches but once you are at the yarn over you have to knit taking the back loop of the stitch continue working the knit stitch to the other yarn over and remember work the knit stitch on the yarn over taking the back loop finish this row make another row of increases to make another to make the row of increases you have to purl two stitches work two purl stitches then yarn over and work the purl stitch work the purl stitch to two stitches before the end once you are at two stitches before the end you have to yarn over again and finish with purl stitch this is how you have to make the increases on the row on the right side you have to knit the all the stitches and remember to knit the yarn over taking the back loop of the stitch And this is how you have to make the rows of increases. You have to continue working increases in the rows of the wrong side to have 38 stitches. Once you have 38 stitches, you, you can continue working the stocking under stitch if you want. In my case, I will add a part of garter stitch with another color. In my case I will take the white yarn and place the yarn You have to start with the new color You have to start the part of the garter stitch in a row on the right side And you have to work the knit stitch in all the row Work the knit stitch to the end And now we want to make the garter stitch so you have to continue the row in the wrong side with the knit stitch knit a stitch to the end to make the garter stitch Then now you have to work six rows of the needs of the stocking at a stitch, six rows of the stocking at a stitch. Remember one row with the needle stitch.
one row with the purl stitch to have six rows with the stacking at the stitch and in my case I will make another row with the garter stitch remember work the knit stitch with the new color knit stitch one knit stitch to the end then turn and work also the knit stitch to make the garter stitch those are the two rows that you have to make to uh, have the garter stitch now again six rows with the stacking at the stitch You have to continue repeating the same to have five parts of the garter stitch. In my case, from the bottom part to the top part, the length is 24 centimeters. And now we have to start making the decreases. Start with four knit stitches, start the, make the decreases on the row of the right side and make four knit stitches. And now work one decrease. To make the decrease of the right side, you have to slip the first stitch, knit one pass the first stitch over the knit stitch this is how you have to make the decrease on the right side then continue working the knit stitch to six stitches before the end once you have only six stitches you have to make another decrease in this case on the left side you have to knit two together to make this decrease knit two together and work the knit stitch on the last four stitches then turn now you have to make the four stitches of the sides you have to make an edge of garter stitch so continue making four stitches with the garter stitch so four knit stitches and then work the purl stitch in all the stitches of the center to four stitches before the end to complete the stocking at the stitch and then work the knit stitch on the last four stitches This is how you have to make the decreases, continue a row with decreases on the right side, work four knit stitches and then make again one decrease. Remember slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over the knit one. Continue working knit stitches to six stitches before the end. Once you are at six stitches before the end, you have to knit two together. And then work four knit stitches to make the edge of garter stitch. turn 
on the row on the wrong side, continue with the 4 knit stitches at the beginning. Work 4 stitches to 4 stitches before the end and at the last 4 stitches you have to make 4 knit stitches to make the garter stitch edge. Continue making decreases to have 24 stitches. Once you have 24 stitches, you have to make 6 rows with the garter stitch. Remember, work the knit stitch in all the rows. 6 rows with the garter stitch. And on the row number 6 you have to bind off all the stitches. Once you have the row number 5, start the row number 6 with knit 1 and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Knit 1 and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. This is how you have to bind off all the stitches. Knit 1, pass the previous stitch over the second stitch. And continue working the same to complete, to bind off all the stitches of the front part. This is how you made the front part, now we have to start working the back part. You have to make the same, cast on 18 stitches. But you have to start making the increases on the row number 8. So work the stacking the stitch to the row number 7 and on the row number 8 start making the increases like you made on the back part. Repeat the same, the increases, the part of the garter stitch and the stockinette stitch, the part of the decreases and once you are at the row number 5 of the garter stitch of the top part, you have to make the suspenders. To make the suspenders you have to knit 5, And then bind off all the stitches of the center of the top part and bind off all the stitches to have only 5 stitches. Uh, you have one stitch on the right needle on the right needle and four stitches on the left needle so the last decrease is this stitch and continue making four knit stitches and now you have the one suspender in one side one suspender on the other side you have to work now one suspender and leave the the other suspender on the knitting on on the needles and work the garter stitch on this suspender to have 27 rows. Once you have 27 rows, you have to make the buttonhole. To make the buttonhole, knit 2, yarn over, knit 2 together, and knit the last stitch.
turn and work the knit stitch to make the button hole uh, knit a stitch normally at the yarn over to make the hole and make two more rows with the garter stitch and bind off all the stitches. When you have the first suspender, you can cut the yarn and place the yarn on the next suspender. Be careful where you place the yarn because you have to continue working with the garter stitch. So repeat the same that you made with the other suspender. Once you have both pieces, you have to start making the elastic part of the sides. You have to pick up stitches on the sides of the bottom part of the piece. Here you have to pick up the stitches uh, in between of those holes. One hole is one stitch, so pick up all the stitches to the part of the to finish to complete the part of the increases. Pick up the last stitch here on the garter stitch and continue picking up the stitches of the other side Pick up the stitches on the other side and then you have to make three rows with the elastic stitch. Start with two knit stitches.
and two purl stitches, two knit stitches, and two purl stitches. Repeat the elastic two to, to the end. Once you are at the end, you have to turn and complete the elastic stitch. Knit where you have a knit, purl where you have an, a purl. In this case, you have to purl two stitches and knit two stitches. Purl two, knit two. This is what you have to repeat to the end. And once you are at the third row, you have to bind off all the stitches, bind off all the stitches of the elastic part. Once you have all one elastic part, you have to repeat the same on the other side and you have to sew now the sides of the honesty or the um, romper. Sew the sides with a tapestry needle. and so also the bottom part and the elastic part. And you finished your honesty. Well, that's all. I hope you like it. Remember uh, that you can subscribe and click on the bell to receive the notifications of my new videos that you can find hundreds of free knitting, crochet and amigurumi patterns in my website and as always, thank you for watching and if you give me a like and if you share this video, it would be great. Thank you and see you on the next video.